Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another beautiful day. So I'm excited to share with you guys that I put my deposit in for a 2022 Yamaha YZF R760th Anniversary Edition. And let me tell you the reasons why. Now, when the 60th Anniversary Edition was released about a week ago from today's recording, I immediately fell in love with the looks and the livery. So sure enough, I ended up finding a way to my local Yamaha dealer. And put in a deposit for it. Now I won't be getting it until sometime in January of 2022. So for me, it's going to be quite a long wait, but I am so stoked! Now I know there's been a lot of controversy surrounding the R7. There's a lot of people that like it, there's a lot of people that hate it. I've watched all the reviews so far um, to sort of get the feeling of uh, what that bike entails and uh, who it's for. So a lot of my old subscribers on my channel know that I've been dabbling at potentially getting a sport bike uh, for track use. And the main reason why I'm going to be getting the R7 is so that way I could focus on my technique. Specifically those I learned from Yamaha Champ School. Repeat after me. Load the tire before you work the tire. Load the tire before you work the tire. So that first 5%, he squeezes a little bit of brake pressure on, that contact patch stretches out. Now that tire is positioned to actually take a pretty sufficient load. But if we grab, we stab, get aggressive with that, we just blow through the, the edge of grip and we just never have a chance to react to what's going on there. Remember, if you're leaned over, you should be able to, to let go of the bars and stay. Use that core. Okay. okay. You, yep. The, the abs and the thighs and everything. So if I want to accelerate off the corner, what do I got to do with the lean angle? Take you, I got to take yeah. away that lean angle. If I'm leaning over at 90 points of lean angle, I only have 10 points of throttle. I got to match those the throttle while taking away lean angle. While technique could be done on any bike uh, to practice, I think having a sub leader bike will allow you to just focus a little bit more on the techniques that you'd want to practice. Not all people are the same, I know, but this is the approach that I'm going to take. I'm going to take something a little bit smaller and just have fun with it. I was extremely close to just getting the R1 instead of the R7 with the same livery option, but I'm really happy I made the decision to uh, stick with the R7 so I could really hone down on my technique. But man, that color though, that red, that white, oh, it just blends in so well. Kind of looks familiar here. <laughs> I also like the fact that it's bare bones and it has no electronics. All it has is just ABS. There's no IMU to uh, interfere with any sort of uh, inputs on the bike, which I'm really okay with, especially with practicing technique on the track. Now this bike that I'm on, on the other hand, has all the technology, has the safety features, has the IMU. And if I'm being honest with myself, I'm nowhere near the capability of being able to use a leader bike's full capacity. At least not yet. <laughs> so I think this R7 is going to be a good start 
for some track days and just really hone in on my technique. Now there's been a lot of a lot of content surrounding this R7 amongst the moto tubers if you will. And I'm happy to say that I'm actually gonna own this bike. I'm gonna put it through its paces here in the canyons and also the track. Give you my uh, real world uh, experience on it. I also find myself reminiscing uh, my time I had with the R6 on the track in Button Willow. Now, I don't expect it to feel the same way as it did when I rode the R6 on the track because the R7 is not an R6. It's not a predecessor to the R6. And it's also gonna be super easy to go around technical corners like this with the R7. I've always loved a bike that's super light and very nimble. I'm really looking forward to more track days and seeing what I could do on that R7. And again, my goal is to not break lap records with that R7 because it's not gonna break any sort of record at all. But really the purpose is for me to practice on my technique and eventually perhaps get a super bike. Really excited to announce this and bring you guys new content although i do have to wait until january until i get the bike so stay tuned yeah that 60th anniversary livery oh man that thing is just off the hook variety is the spice of life and after all my channel is called sidestand well guys thanks for riding with me i hope you're excited as much as i am let me know in the comments what you think about my decision here. And guys, hit that like button if you haven't already. It really helps me with YouTube's algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And as always, be sure to keep those side stands up. Peace!